Pháp và lần thứ ba trong những chapter gần đây khi hồi tưởng về ký ức của Tổ tiên mình và hồi phục của những chất độc do mùi phát ra bất kể là vì lý do gì thì thế giới tinh thần Lều án, are you there? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, you got a black cat. What's the name? What's the name of your cat? It's the fat cat. Sorry? What? Bad cat. Bad cat? Sorry, I, I, I'm movie send you in chat. Ah. Uh. Oh, why you say it that way, stupid fat cat? Is it uh, fat? Yes, very fat. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. So, and so welcome back for our class. All right. And how are you? I'm doing good as well. And we're going to continue our class now. Um... So we continue. Let's start. We're going to do still the listening. All right. Okay. So last time we end here. Can you see my screen? Yes, I see. Okay, good. Now we're going to do the next part. So we're going to do the listening for one other time. And what can you see in the picture? It's a library. Library. Again, what is it? Library. Okay, library. And this one is a little old, right? An old library, if you can see. Even that part, it has books. Okay, listen to Carlos asking for information about the library. For questions 11 to 15... Take A, B, or C. So you're going to choose either A, B, or C and write your answer first on the paper. All right? Okay. So let's start. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, West College. Which department would you like? The library, please. The library's closed until Thursday. Can I help you? Yes. My name is Carlos Sanchez, and I'd like some information. I'm a student at the Central School, and I'd like to join the library. Do you have a student card from your school? No, I don't. Ah, well, then you must bring a letter from your teacher and two photos. Okay. How much does it cost to join? Well, it usually costs 3,000 pesetas, but students can join for 1,500. Oh, good. And can I take books out? Yes. You get four tickets, and you can keep the books for three weeks. Right. When is the library usually open? From 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. weekdays, and 10.30 to 2.30 on Saturdays. Okay. And what's the address of the library, please? It's in Murdoch Street. Shall I spell that for you? Uh, yes, please. Okay. It's M-U-R-D-O-C-H. Fine. I've got that. Well, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. All right, eh? So let's listen for another time. Now listen again. Hello, West College. Which department would you like? The library, please. The library's closed until Thursday. Can I help you? Yes. My name is Carlos Sanchez, and I'd like some information. I'm a student at the Central School, and I'd like to join the library. 
Do you have a student card from your school? No, I don't. Ah, well then you must bring a letter from your teacher and two photos. Okay. How much does it cost to join? Well, it usually costs 3,000 pesetas, but students can join for 1,500. Oh, good. And can I take books out? Yes. You get four tickets, and you can keep the books for three weeks. Right. When is the library usually open? From 11 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. weekdays, and 10.30 to 2.30 on Saturdays. Okay. And what's the address of the library, please? It's in Murdoch Street. Shall I spell that for you? Uh, yes, please. Okay, it's M-U-R-D-O-C-H. Fine, I've got that. Well, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, yeah. Do you have answers already? Yes, ma'am. I have okay, good. So let's start. Can you read? This is the end of part three. Yeah, thank you for the end. All right, can you read number 11 for the question? Right. Uh, what must Carl take to the library? Carlos, a... what must Carlos? Uh, read it slowly for another time. What must Carlos take to the library? Answer is letter B. A teacher's letter, okay? Sure, it's a teacher's letter that Carlos must bring to the library. But if she, if Carlos has this thing, he will not need a teacher's letter. What is it then? Is student card. Yes, if he has a student card, he doesn't have to bring a teacher's letter since he doesn't have. So he has to have a letter from his teacher. Good. For number 12, how much will it cost Carlos to join? Answer is letter B. 15? Yes, yeah, 15 euro. Okay, um, this is quite tricky, yeah, because... They are talking pesetas, okay? Let's try to hear that part. Pesetas. Four tickets and you... How much does it cost to join? Well, it usually costs 3,000 pesetas. 3,000 pesetas. So actually the answer here, the answer for the question is not on the choices. It should be pesetas. But students can join for 1,500. 1,500 oh, pesetas. Can I take books out? Okay, 1,500 pesetas is the correct answer. You don't have to worry. I will just put a note here. Oops. This should be the correct answer. Okay, 1,500 pesetas. And kindly read, um, and uh, the number 13. Carlos will get, um, Mansa is, let's see. What's that? For the very ticket. All right, the correct answer for number 13 is... Good job. You have Carlos will have four library tickets. Good. Number 14. Um, answer today, the library up and mention is letter A. Letter A. Okay. But regularly, what time is the library open? Uh, regular schedule. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Um, I don't remember the schedule uh, in the regular one. You don't remember? Yeah. Okay. For the regular one, it's usually from 11 a.m. to 8 a.m. Oh, sorry, 8 p.m. But mm -hmm. on regular, 
from 10.30 to, it says like 2.30, okay? okay? Oh no, the answer here is letter A, okay? The answer here is letter A. Ten thirty. All right, Ang. The answer is letter A. You're correct. It's just a mistake here. All right, number fifteen, please. The library is in. Mensa is letter A. Can you spell letter A? N U U R D O C H. Okay, good. The answer is Murdoch Street. Okay, so good job, Anne, for giving me the correct answers. Uh, just only for number 12, um, this is quite tricky because the correct answer is not here. It should be 1,500 pesetas. Okay, and for this one, this one is should be 10.30, okay, not 11 a.m. All right, let's move forward. Sorry. Okay, we're going to do another listening. For this part, you will hear a woman telephoning a garage about her car. Listen and complete question 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. All right. Yeah. So you're going to supply the information needed. Okay, I will start now. Now look at part four. You will hear a woman telephoning a garage about her car. Listen and complete questions 16 to 20. You will hear the conversation twice. Good morning, Jackson's Garage. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you come to have a look at it? Can I have your name, please, miss? Yes. My name's Mary Wilson. Now, what's the trouble? It's the you... brakes. When I was driving to work this morning, they weren't working very well. Oh, dear. Don't worry. We'll come and repair them. Thank you. Can you tell me your address, please? Well, I'm at my office. It's at 31 Hill Road. The car's parked outside the office. Could we also have your office phone number? Yes, it's 350-519. Can you come this morning? I'm afraid we can't. We're very busy until lunchtime. Oh, it's very important. I really need my car tonight. How soon can you come? Well, we can come at, say, 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. And what type of car is it? It's a red Toyota. Okay, see you this afternoon. Great, thank you. Bye. We're going to listen again, eh? Now listen again. Good morning, Jackson's Garage. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you come to have a look at it? Can I have your name, please, miss? Yes. My name's Mary Wilson. Now, what's the trouble? It's the brakes. When I was driving to work this morning, they weren't working very well. Oh, dear. Don't worry. We'll come and repair them. Thank you. Can you tell me your address, please? Well, I'm at my office. It's at 31 Hill Road. The car's parked outside the office. Could we also have your office phone number? Yes. It's 350-519.
Can you come this morning? I'm afraid we can't. We're very busy until lunchtime. Oh, it's very important. I really need my car tonight. How soon can you come? Well, we can come at, say, 2 p.m. OK, thank you. And what type of car is it? It's a red Toyota. OK, see you this afternoon. Great. Thank you. Bye. All right. Ready? Yes. Okay, so what is the name this of the is customer? This the end of part four. Yeah, thank you again, miss. All right, going back. So what is, again, the name of the customer and? This Mary Wilson. Mary Wilson. Very good. Or you call it Mary. Okay, can you say again the word Mary? Mary. Okay, good. All right, so let's start. Trouble with car. What's the trouble with her car? What's your answer? It's a wheel. Wheel. Wheels? Are you sure? Wheels? Yes. Okay. Try to listen. A conversation twice. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you come to have a look at it? Can I have your name, please, miss? Yes. My name's Mary Wilson. Now, what's the trouble? It's the brakes. What is it? It's the... Brakes. Brakes. You know brakes? Uh... The brakes, not the wheel. Um, do you have any idea what is the brake? The one that how you're going to stop the car. You call it brake, right? Okay. Okay, next. What is the office address? Is Hill Row. Is Hill Row. Sorry, 31. No, sorry, the office address. Um, it's 31 Hill Row. Okay, how do you spell the word hill? H I L L. Good. That's hill. Good job. Next, what is the customer's phone number? It's 350 Okay, good. 350 Good job. And what will be the time of the appointment? It's 2 p.m. Okay, why is it 2 p.m.? I don't see me. Sorry. It's a, um, um, the telephone say uh, we will come at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Because the man or J Jackson's garage is fully booked in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. It's fully booked. And Mary Wilson would like for mm -hmm. them to come in the morning, but they couldn't. So the earliest time that they could give is 2 p.m. And at least the car should be ready in the evening. All right. Good job. Next. Um, color of car is a red. 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 Well, do you know what is the, what is the brand of the car aside from red? Red brow. Sorry. Red brow. Red. Yeah, it's a red, but the type is Toyota. Do you know Toyota? Do you know Toyota? Mm. Red Toyota car. 
So it's red and the type of the car is Toyota. Okay, let me share to you Toyota. Uh, yes, I, I know Toyota. You know Toyota? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I don't have yes. to show it then. All right, let's move to the next part. Eh? So what we have here, you will hear a man talking on a radio. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice. All right? Okay. Okay, let's start. So this is the information. And we're going to listen for one more time. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking on the radio. Listen and complete questions 21 to 25. You will hear the information twice and now in this part of the program we try to put people in contact with their old school friends so if you remember any of these people and you want to see them again then listen carefully right now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelt C-R-A-I-G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. Janet said she was at Green Park School in South London for six happy years. And she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984, and she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. So, if you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Janet. She's waiting to hear from you, and her number is 587-634. That's five eight seven six three four. I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. We're going to listen for one more time, eh? So kindly now take listen note. again. And now, in this part of the program, we try to put people in contact with their old school friends. So. If you remember any of these people and you want to see them again, then listen carefully. Right. Now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelt C-R-A-I-G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. Janet said... She was at Green Park School in South London for six happy years. And she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984. And she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. So, if you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Janet. She's waiting to hear from you. And her number is 587-634. That's 587-634. I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. Okay, Yang, are you ready? Do you have answers? Yes. Okay, so what is the last name of Janet? It's Craig. Can you spell it? G-R-A-I. Okay, the correct answer here now look is... look at part five. Craig. C-R-I-G. C-R-A-I-G. C-R-A-I-G. Janet Craig. Okay. Okay. You're not familiar with this kind of surname? 
or last name? The last name is Nguyen Hoang. Can you say again the last name? Is Nguyen Hoang. Oh, okay. Nguyen. Nguyen is your last name, right? Okay. I see. Yeah, but for this one, um, Americans have a different way to pronounce the name. It's very different. And the surname is in the end or at the end of the names, right? For Vietnamese, their surnames is in the beginning, right? Yeah. The beginning of the... Say, okay, let's go. What's the name of the school? It's um, Green Park School. Green Park School. Good job. And it's from, well, what is this from? Uh, what do you mean by from nine, here? 9.45 p.m. So they're going to meet like, or the schedule will be, what time? Yeah. 9.45 a.m. Okay, um, this one is they're talking about the dates. Okay, the batch who graduated 1984 and the two here is until 1990. Okay? Okay. So they are talking about here the years. Okay? Right. Now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelled C-R-A-I-G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. So, happy years. And she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984. She started 1984. And she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. 1990, okay. So, it... so from 1984 to 1990. And lastly, can you tell me the cell phone number? Is um seven a uh sorry five a seven six three four. Okay, six. Can you say it again? Six. Six. Okay, good. Five eight seven six three four. Good job. All right. Okay, and so good job. So try to. Uh, do it better. So for this one, it's quite confusing since we're not really sure of what uh, the information being asked here. Okay. So, but it's a good job. Okay. So can you try? I will go to read it first. Then I will, you will read it after. And now in this part of the program, we try to put people in contact with their old school friends. So if you remember any of these people and you want to see them again, we'll listen carefully. Right now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelled C-R-A-I-G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. Janet said she was at Green's, Green Park School in South London for six happy years. And she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984. And she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. So, if you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Janet. She's waiting to hear you from you, and her phone and her number is five eight seven six three four. That's five eight seven six three four. I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. Okay. Your turn, okay. Anne. Okay. Great. And now, in this part of the program, we try to put people in the contact. No, with in the a, in contact. In contact with their own school friend. So, if you remember any of people and you went to see them again, then listen carefully. Right now, the first person in the mood this morning is Jenny Great. That's spelled G C R A I G. 
and I will give you a telephone number in a minute, sir. In a minute, also. Or so. Also. All right. Jenny said he was a Green Park school in South London for six happy years. And she wants to meet on his She wants birthday. with S. She wants. She wants to meet on her orphan when she started at the school in 1984. And she was very sorry when they left to get a job in 19... 1990. Uh, uh, okay. So if you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Jan Janet. She's waiting for her from you, and her number is no five eight seven six three four has no five eight seven six three four six again six. Three, four. I'm sure you have lots about to talk about. I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. Can you say it again? I'm sure you have lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Lots to talk, lots about. To talk about. Okay, good. All right. So, do you have any questions so far, Ang? Eh? Mm, no. Hey, good job for this one. Yes. Oh, what do you mean by red brown that you sent earlier? Ah, red Toyota. <laughs> so there is no red brown, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I just just read your chat now. Okay, we were talking about red Toyota earlier. Okay, good. So this is the end for this part. Okay, and we're going to go to the next lesson. Just a minute, okay? Okay. We're going to speaking part already since we already finished this part. Not sure if we finished this one. Okay, can you see my screen and can you hear it? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're going to key English test one, speaking test four. All right. And let's begin. Okay, let's go for part one. Okay, and what is your favorite meal of the day? It's um, noodles. No? Um, when we ask what is your favorite meal of the day, you're going to ask whether breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Yes, my uh, favorite meal of the day is a dinner. Okay, the dinner is your favorite meal of the day. And why? Because. Because. I can eat. Sorry. I love yes, I love things. Sorry, sorry. Because I can eat a lot of food. Okay, there are more food, right? You can eat a lot yeah. during the dinner time. Okay, I see. What food do you like best? What food do you like best? Okay, I will. Sorry? Uh, Is crouch, is crouch and uh, crouch noodle for potato and um, for pho. Pho, all right. So potato pho. Mm. Oh, I see. I like that one. That I like that one as well. Pho. Right. Good. And what food don't you like? What food don't you like? 
I don't lie. Um, what you don't like? Um, I don't like seafood. No, um, I don't like seafood except um, uh, sashimi and uh, I don't oh, like yeah. seafood except sashimi. You like sashimi? <laughs> Oh, you like Japanese so much, right? Even sashimi, you like it, right? Okay. And do you love cooking? Yes, I love cooking very do much. Do you cook? Yes, I cook. What do you cook? Um, uh, fish fries. Oh, um, you can fry. Okay. What else? You do. And noodles and something I don't remember all. Okay, but definitely you can fry and you can boil, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Who often does the cooking in your family? Who often does the cooking in your family? Is my <laughs> grandparent and my mother. Okay, your grandparents or your mother. Oh, I see. But who is more often? Would that be your grandmother or your grandparents? My grandmother. Your grandmother, because she's always on the house. She's always at the house. Yes. Yeah, and your mother is working busy. What time yes. is your mother um arrive home? What time she arrives? Um to um she usually in her in um um a lunch she and usually at home at lunchtime and um in the morning and um in evening and afternoon sorry she like after like afternoon okay um, during um, the afternoon, she's already there? Yes. I see, I see. And your mother works in what industry? She works in the bank? Yes, she works in the bank, but my mother works for the country. Bank, uh, country bank. Oh, I see. So the, um, the country bank, yes. So yes. the central bank in Vietnam, like that, right? The main bank. I see, I see. Good job, good job. Okay, let's try to answer this one. Talk about the dish that you like the best. Talk about the dish um, that you I like, like the best. Um, uh, this potato with egg fry and um, beans. Oh, I see. Potato with fried egg and beans okay i see that's great okay let's try to gather some information okay these are pictures of some food right okay okay of course you said potato and which among the food here you like also also like to taste hamburger sandwich hamburger egg, sandwich avocado. Egg, avocado, egg, sorry, corn, cheese, pizza, pizza, cheese, mm -hmm. uh, chicken, um, rice, hot dog. Because I like such very much. Sorry, what? What is it? What is it? Hot dog. Hot dog. You like hot dog? Oh, that's very good for breakfast. I, I, I like the sausage. Sausage as well. Yes. Oh, where is the sausage here? Vegetable. Vegetables. Salad. Again, read this vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. And salad. All right, and salad. Good job. So that's very healthy, right? And what about you did not talk about this one? Cucumber. Usually it's in the salad as well, anyway. What about uh, corn? Do you eat corn? 
Yeah, and well. I think today I have corn to eat. Oh, I see. I see you got corn. All right. What about mm -hmm. cake? Cake? No. I, Not I much. don't love it. Cake. Oh, you don't like sweet? Yes, I, I, I like sweet too, but... Not so. really about cake. I see. But for birthday cake, I don't like very much. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Good, 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 good. All right. Of course, there are, these are some information, right? Yeah. Okay. Kebab is all the other term for barbecue, right? Kebab. Of yeah. course, we have, also have bacon here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because actually in our house, we are baking. We are baking, yeah. so we make our own cakes, cookies, bread in the house so so every morning so we have like a fresh bread here so that's the one we are eating because we have oven do you have oven in the house uh oven yeah oh uh, no oh no that's okay okay let's go to the next part Okay, so these are the other ways to answer this one. Okay, good job. Let's go to the next part now. Ready? So when we talk about favorite dish, you should be answering at least three sentences. Okay? You can talk about the dish, what the dish is, the name of the dish. Second, what it is made of. Then the third one... But why you like it okay okay can you try answering it again what is your favorite dish is a dish have a potato something uh fried egg and some sausages sausages yes okay and why do you like it because it's in if they are energy. Sorry, yeah. it is? Yeah, give me uh, energy. Okay, gives you a lot of energy. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, uh, to my um, activities out there, I usually mm -hmm. like activities out there. Sorry, sorry. It's give me. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, and she to have me in an activity outdoor. Outdoor, okay. sorry, outdoor activity. Okay, outdoor activities. I see. So it gives you an energy, especially for the act outdoor activities. And another, why you like it? Um, Does it taste delicious? Does it taste delicious? Yes, very delicious. Very delicious, right? And the other way that you can also answer it, it's like, um, is it also nutritious? Do you know the word nutritious? Healthy? Do you think it's healthy? Yes. Okay. So one, it's healthy and it gives you a lot of energy. And most importantly, it's delicious. It's something that I can eat easily, right? Do you think you can eat that food at least like every day? But you will not get tired of eating it? No, uh, because the, the food, uh, I, I went to is not, not one food in day, more food. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Not really every day, but sometimes, some days, right? So that you won't get tired of it. Good job. Okay, for example, um, this, um, is this, um, is this far? I'm not sure. Made of rice, beef, and many kinds of herbs with taste of broth. Okay. Can you okay. read this one? Okay. Beef um, noodles. Beef noodles. Noodles. Beef noodles. With S, noodles. Noodles. Good. It is made it of... It is, again. It is made of rice. Guys, beef, and many kinds of herbs. Herbs. Here we just want herbs. Herbs. 
herbs. It, they herbs. don't pronounce H. You don't pronounce letter H, so you say herbs. 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 Okay. They taste broth. 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 Okay. I love this noodle because noodles with bread. letter S again. Is the noodles because 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 it is one. It of is the again with S. It is one of the famous dishes in Vietnam. My mom also cooks it very well. Okay, very well. It's the end of the sentence. Very well. Okay, good. So that is beef noodles. Just the example. All right, and we're going to end our class today. It's already time. So thank you very much for coming to class. Do you have questions? No. All right. So see you again tomorrow for our class. We're going yes. to continue speaking. Then after that, we're going to do reading and writing. Okay. See you. See you. Bye-bye now. Have a good day.